what is up everyone welcome back to another uh another quick video so by the title and what you are clearly looking at you clicked on this because you want to see and hear my opinion on the uh i always forget the name of this boot sometimes the masabi they're the masabi uh the irish sutter masabi eight inch eight inch boots logger boots um, so yeah, let's jump right into it. <clears throat> um, where to start? By the way, again, ignore all the renovation and remodeling I'm doing for, uh, my condo. Okay. So anyways, yeah, eight inch logger boots right here. I'm going to start with the pros. Um, these are waterproof and, um, it is leather safety toe. Um, and yeah, I forget what the technology they use for the waterproof stuff. Oh, here it is. Ultra dry. That's the, that's what they stand by. So ultra dry is supposed to not, um, get wa any water or any type of moisture inside. Except, except if your feet are sweaty, that's the only downside, but whatever. Um... I guess the other pro, I mean, I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find some pros here on this boot. I guess they can be stylish in a way. I don't know. You guys tell me. I don't know. There's not too much going on with this boot, to be honest with you. I guess the other pro I can say is that um, I got these in the Red Wing uh, clearance section you know, in the back of the store when they usually have boots like 50% off due to, uh, you know, not enough, uh, volume and sales for the specific boot, or usually they're just down to like two sizes and they're just trying to get rid of them for any type of price. Um, but yeah, I bought, I got these for 80 bucks. Um, I mean, you can't beat that because I just looked online and they're 164 or 165 something like that no fucking way i'd ever pay that much for this type of boot but 80 bucks fuck it it's just another one in the collection of boots this is how it looks obviously on the foot sorry for my baggy cargo jeans again let me stand up yeah and like i said they're not entirely ugly or anything like that but it's personal preference. Now, another huge con that I had with this was um, uncomfortability. Man, oh man, does this boot hurt your fucking foot when you first put it on. That first uh, week you, you you wear these, I mean, man, bring bring another, bring, a, bring an, another pair of boots because you're only going to last like two hours three hours tops in this and you know what it is it's this fucking it's this part right here right when your foot wants to curve down you feel strain right there in the middle of your sole and the first week i mean it was fucking hell it was hell and the heel is ginormous. I mean, what is that? Like two inches? Like an inch, inch and a half? I don't know. It's fucking big though. Irish setter. Irish setter. And these are a size, uh, size 10 and a half. Yeah. And they're fairly in still great condition too. I mean, look at the, look at the bottoms, you know, all that grip still. And there's no way that heel's going to be worn down anytime soon. I mean, look at that. It's a big fucking brick. But yeah, guys, just thought I'd make a quick video on these boots. 
Here's a fun fact, by the way, on these logger boots. Um, my local Red Wing store, the uh, sales associate, was telling me that um, I guess Comcast slash Xfinity, they have a contract with Red Wing, so their technicians wear these boots for s the ones who uh, climb up on those poles and do that type of stuff. Um, I thought that was kind of odd. I just thought, how the fuck, how the absolute fuck can someone wear this heel on a 10 hour work day or more? You know, like I said, I mean, these are broken in now. I've had these for like 14, 15 months, something like that. Like a, almost a year and a half. And, you know, although I did break them in, um, they're not as broken in as my other boots. I'll say that because I, I couldn't imagine wearing these for 12 plus hours. But that's just me, personal preference. Like I said, it's a it's a okay looking boot. Nothing wrong with the style. Uncomfortability, just be prepared though. It's gonna hurt like a bitch because of that middle part right there. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like or a thumbs down, comment, and um, please subscribe if you want to see more reviews. Comment down below on what boot you want me to you want me to uh, review next or shoe. And uh, if you guys do comment what you want me to do next, make sure it's something that I mean. I'm not gonna do like these. Uh, how do they how do they call it like hype beast shoes or whatever the fuck yeah i'm not gonna buy connie west's shoes or shit like that you know I, i'd rather like i said in my previous videos i'd rather put my money into some nice boots but that's just me um but yeah leave a comment down below on what i should do next um i know someone recommended some some Danner boots, um, so I'm going to try and get a pair soon. Got a wedding coming up, so kind of have to be a little, little, little smart with my money until, until May. But all right, guys, thanks for hearing me nag, and uh, thanks for watching the video. All right, guys, uh, take it easy, all right? Bye.